showcase. A stage to display one's talents from the unforgettable moments. Mankind has achieved his dream! This is home. On the biggest stage. The boyhood dream! What did we just see? Daniel Bryan did it! The Miracle Kid! To the greatest conflicts. From the biggest names. But this showcase <laughs> is about a man. <laughs> a man who became a legend. A man named Stone Cold Steve Austin. <laughs> After learning his craft from gentleman Chris Adams, Austin would begin his career in 1989. I've been very impressed by Steve Austin's ability. He's showing that he has the potential to go a long, long way. In 1991, the nation got their first glimpse of the future. From Hollywood, California, 253 pounds, stunning Steve Austin. Dominating, overpowering, arrogant. When you bring two world-class athletes together and they mesh as one, you create an unbeatable machine. And we will be unstoppable as a team. Count on it. But despite his success, no one saw a superstar. And when injuries sidelined Steve, the future looked bleak. Next day, I got a FedEx and Mouse, and I was fired. I was like, I kind of sucked. Frustration took over. There's nothing going my way because the politics kept the biggest potential superstar in wrestling on the ground. Frustration turned to anger, and anger created opportunity. The ringmaster seems to really have it all. The size, the strength, the agility, the wrestling acumen. Austin would enter WWE as the ringmaster, but wasted no time turning himself into a more ruthless character. His peers dubbed him the ringmaster. I would suggest to you from the look on his face and his attitude, he's a stone cold, if anything. His moment was finally here. It's on to bigger and better things after King of the Ring, after I win it all. And nothing would be the same again. Austin 316 says I just whipped your ass. As the king of the ring, I'm serving notice to every one of the superstars. They're all on the list, and I'm fixing to start running through all of them. Steve Austin's time has come, and that's the bottom line, because Stone Cold said so. Oh, wait a minute, look at that! Cheap shot! Oh, oh, Stone Cold starter! Oh, come there on. you go. Come on! Stone Cold is the best serious. As Stone Cold continued to scratch names off his superstar hit list, there was one name that had eluded Austin's sights. I'd like to use this chance to issue a challenge against one Bret the Hitman Hart. Bret Hart had been absent for the dawn of 316 and the man who had been raising hell all over WWE. If you put the letter S in front of Hitman, you've had my exact opinion of Bret Hart. I'm the best there is. I don't pay attention to a lot of talk. I'm the best there was. Especially when it comes from you. And I'm the best there ever will be. The hitman found himself in unfamiliar territory, the crosshairs of the Texas rattlesnake. The one thing that's been missing has been me. But the excellence of execution has never been one to back down from a challenge. In the Survivor Series, I will face Stone Cold Steve Austin. You're never going to get through with Stone Cold Steve Austin. You're going to have to kill me first, son. And that's the bottom line, and it's the truth. And if I can beat Stone Cold, then I will beat Stone Cold. 
The rest is easy pickings for the hitman. Son, if you think Stone Cold Steve Austin is a stepping stone, well, watch the first step, cause it's a doozy. Will Bret Hart be able to prove once and for all that he is the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be? We'll see who kicks whose ass. Or will Austin 316 stomp the hitman into exile? You ain't got what it takes anymore. In the wake of WrestleMania 13, as audiences began to gravitate towards Stone Cold Steve Austin, a dark cloud began to form, separating the hitman from fans south of the Canadian border. First of all, I want to apologize. What? To all my great fans in Canada. For what? And to you, my fans right here across the United States of America, I apologize for nothing. You take a gunless creep like Stone Cold Steve Austin and beat him to a bloody pulp. You cheer him on the way back to the dressing room like he won. You don't respect me. Well, the fact is, the American wrestling fans can kiss my ass. Let me clear the air because I never, ever said I quit. You never got the job done. As Bret Hart's relationship with the American fans continued to crumble. Americans don't give a damn about family. The hitman would turn to his family to forge a new foundation. I'm asking you for your help because I need you. It would take more than numbers to rattle the rattlesnake. I'm finished with you. You'll have to kill me to be finished with me. The only way I'm going to get Stone Cold Steve Austin off my back is to end his career. Like a pack of wolves! One of these days, April 20th at In Your House, I'm going to look down at your grave. Here lies Bret the Hitman Hart. Because Steve Austin whipped his pink and black <laughs> And that's the bottom line. Because Stone Cold sets up. issues between Stone Cold and Bret Hart were far from over. You come right out here right now in a street fight and I'll beat your ass back to Canada. Anything goes, there can be no disqualification. Also striking the kneecap. The shark tear. Bret Hart's knee is ripping and tearing with his own hole at the hand of Stone Cold Steve Austin. Bret is hurt severely. Although Brett was not able to compete, the Hart Foundation was determined to continue their dominance as they grew the foundation. Jim Neidhart, the other brother-in-law! Boy, it would infuriate Bret Hart for Steve Austin to become the champion. Ta -da! It's over! Wait a minute! As the hearts Next week, the Heart Foundation will put the tag titles on the line, and you two men are going to be tag team partners. Foundation and Brian are still tag team champions. With bad blood boiling over, the tag team champions would face off at King of the Ring. Soon after his battle with HBK at King of the Ring, Stone Cold became embroiled in a heated rivalry with Owen Hart. I was the man that beat Stone Cold Steve Austin. I was the man that pinned his shoulders to the mat for one, two, three. Austin wanted Owen one-on-one -on -one for his Intercontinental title, 
which the champion agreed to under one condition. At SummerSlam, when he pins me one, two, three, if that happens, he can pull down his trunks, bend over, and I'll kiss him right on his ass. Austin will have to be a man of his word if he loses the match. Goldwyn Hart, he'll kiss his derriere. I'll kiss his ass if I can't kick it, and that's the way it's going to be. The match has not even started officially. Goldwyn Hart, go on to work on the team. Let's see what Austin can do with him. In an instant, Austin's career had changed forever at the hands of Owen Hart. Austin is hurt and hurt badly. Despite his championship win, Austin's severe neck injury would cause him to relinquish his tag team and intercontinental titles. But not even a career-threatening injury would keep the rattlesnake down. What is this? Austin is scheduled to present the winner of the Intercontinental title belt. Owen Hart and Peru. Oh, spine buster. No body hole. Oh, Austin just nailed Peru in the head with a belt. And Owen Hart's a new Intercontinental champion. What is this? By helping Owen Hart win the Intercontinental title, Austin secured himself a championship rematch against the man who sidelined him. The match is underway. The Intercontinental title is on the line. Oh, a starter! A stone-cold starter! Yeah! Austin, the champion! Steve Austin is the new Intercontinental champion! Austin got vengeance and his Intercontinental championship back until... The Rock is stealing the Intercontinental belt! The Rock is calling all the shots on this one. Why? Because I'm the champ, and I got it like that. Who's doing that, Rock? Rocky, I'm calling all the shots. I'm pushing all the buttons. You know your ass belongs to Stone Cold. Stone Cold is up with a tin of hook ass on Rocky Marvin. Can you imagine what it's going to be like? The Intercontinental title on the line. the Intercontinental Championship, Austin set his sights on the biggest prize of all. So what I'm gonna do, Rock, I'm gonna forfeit the damn title to you tonight because I got bigger fish to fry. Trust me, champ. The new Intercontinental Champion, The Rock. Austin, DTA, Rock, right? don't trust anybody. One man. Royal Rumble's rolling around, and the word in the locker room is that everybody's gunning for Stone Cold Steve Austin. One mission. Steve Austin strikes first, and that's the bottom line. Steve Austin is going to do unto others before they do unto him. One prize. Steve Austin's going to raise hell as only Steve Austin can raise hell, and that's it. With no time for the Royal Rumble match. The winner of this match will meet the champion at WrestleMania 14. match of my life. That is coming with Stone Cold, whether you like it or not. It ain't gonna be easy. It ain't gonna be easy. It ain't gonna be possible. Oh. Sean Steve Austin, this is it.
Vince McMahon's WWE, but the rattlesnake had always shown that he would never be one to suck up to the boss. You ain't gonna mold me, you ain't gonna break me. What you see, Vince, is what you get. Steve Austin has learned his lesson. No longer will Stone Cold Steve Austin be considered a beer-swilling, trash-talking, blue-collar champion. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, you will end this very ring. The new Stone Cold wants you to take this camera and Stone Cold Steve Austin wearing a ridiculous suit like this son of a bitch I got. After being humiliated by Stone Cold, Mr. McMahon challenged Austin to a match the following week on Raw. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You said you could beat Vince McMahon. One hand tied behind my back. Austin with one hand tied behind him. If you want me to whip his damn ass with one arm, give me a hell yeah. What the hell is that? Following Dude Love's ambush, Austin would seek retribution against the Love Doctor at Unforgiven. Despite the chairman's best efforts, Austin retains his WWE Championship. When you put this son of a bitch on the line, that means your big dead ass belongs to Stone Cold Steve Austin. But Mr. McMahon devises a demonic plan. Kane challenges you, Austin, to a match in which clearly the winner will be the man who draws first blood on his opponent. A first blood match. This Kane is your destiny. The rebellious rattlesnake wasn't backing down from any challenge. To Kane, I say this. I'll accept any kind of match you want to throw at Stone Cold Steve Austin. I've bled before. I ain't afraid to bleed again. The following contest is the first blood match for the championship. Mr. McMahon's numbers proved too much for Stone Cold, but Austin would exercise his rematch clause for the championship the very next night. I want a rematch with Kane right here tonight. And it's fine with me as long as it's all right with Paul Bear. It's all right with me. It's okay with Kane. Will you give me the rematch tonight? Undertaker and qualified for the 1999 Royal Rumble. But on Monday Night Raw, Mr. McMahon had a big surprise for the Rattlesnake. We will now choose the very number that Austin will enter the Royal Rumble. Austin has drawn number one. This is ridiculous. 
Just when it looked like the WWE chairman had gotten the upper hand on Stone Cold, the tables quickly turned. Stone Cold Steve Austin will be the first man to enter the Royal Rumble. And the second man who will be entering the Royal Rumble will be Vince McMahon. The stage was now set for a truly unforgettable Royal Rumble. And here comes Austin! Mr. McMahon is running for Austin, and Austin has him in the crowd! Oh no, this is horrible! Hey, it was a trap! The corporate oh, team right. has ambushed oh, Stone Cold! Stone Cold was taken away in an ambulance, and he's not coming back. Wait a minute, there's an ambulance! It's Austin! Mr. McMahon! Austin's back! Snake would get one last shot at becoming the number one contender for the coveted WWE Championship. All Stone Cold had to do was take down his arch rival, Mr. McMahon, inside a steel cage. There is no plan. Sometimes winning Stone Cold Steve Austin is the champion again isn't enough. I looked at that belt and said, eh, eh, that damn thing just ain't gonna cut it. As a champion looks to reclaim what's rightfully his. You don't have it anymore. It's mine. Bring that damn belt back because that's the one that I want. A father puts his family first. Right now, my priority is simply my daughter's welfare. Take this championship belt and give it to Austin. But his son is all business. Where is the Vince McMahon that we all know? Hey, Austin, if you want your precious Stone Cold Championship belt, it is around the waist of the rock. You want the piece of trash? You come get the piece of trash. Dearly, trailer park trash. We are gathered. 
gathered here to celebrate the loss of the biggest piece of monkey crap that has ever graced God's green earth. A shocking resurrection. Hey, wait. There's Austin. My God, it's a monster truck. Is that the Rock's car? Uh, yes, sir. What's he doing? He's coming our way. Austin's coming right in here to the arena. Reunites a champion. That belt is coming back for Stone Cold Steve Austin. And that's the bottom line. Because Stone Cold sucks out. Austin knocked the Rock. Six feet deep. With glory. God's saved it, man. With that shovel right there off of Austin's hand. Can Stone Cold Steve Austin regain what was once his? And that flag, anything goes. The Rock, Stone Cold Steve Austin, no holds barred rules. The special guest referee will be none other than me. May the best man win. Stone Cold's reign as WWE Champion came to a tragic end, and Mr. McMahon's hatred for the Texas Rattlesnake finally reached its boiling point, leaving the boss to search outside of his realm for a suitable ally. I present the higher power. You all bought it! Even my immediate family bought it! But what Mr. McMahon forgot was that behind every strong man was an even stronger woman. Dad! Shane, how could you be so cruel? Look at the look on McMahon's face! At our next 
pay-per-view event, which is King of the Ring. It will be me in one corner, and Vince, it'll be you and that little son of yours in the other corner. We take this CEO title of yours. You hang it up the ring, and the only way to reach up and grab it all, Austin, is by climbing a ladder. The ladder match for all the marbles. It's winner take off. you, you will never again in your professional career ever even attempt to become champion again. If you are somehow victorious, neither you nor either any of these people will ever see Vince McMahon again. If you don't want to see Vince McMahon no more, give me a hell yeah. I won't accept your word for it. I want it in writing. And look at ah, the Undertaker with a horrendous cheap shot on the champion, Busty Mountain. Don't tell me the Undertaker is filling that gin with Austin's own blood. Undertaker, you want my blood? You son of a bitch, I want a piece of your ass. Somebody's got to go and go for good. The hell with business with Austin. It's personal. Somebody's got to bleed. Somebody's gonna leave! It won't be the end of an era. It'll just be the end of you. And that's the bottom line. Custom Cold Set Song. After a grueling match, Austin stood victorious. Triple H and The Rock crashed the party, but Stone Cold was able to fight off The Undertaker and walk out WWE Champion. Austin held on to the championship until SummerSlam, where he lost it to Mankind in a triple threat match. However, the very next night on Raw, Triple H would reign supreme. With Survivor Series approaching, Stone Cold was pitted in a triple threat match against Triple H and The Rock for the WWE Championship. Come here, you little bastard! But before the old with severe neck damage, and after undergoing surgery, he was out of action for over nine months. In his absence, Triple H and The Rock dominated the WWE Championship picture, while Austin was left with questions as to who was behind the vicious attacks. I will get my payback. And when I find the bastard that did this, I will take it out on your ass. And that's the bottom line. Crystal Cold Sixo. While Austin questioned other WWE superstars in search for answers, the truth finally came out. I did it. What? I did it for The Rock. And to tell the truth, I do it again. Austin, this Sunday, no mercy. During the no-holds-barred affair, Austin attempted to pay back Rikishi for his dastardly deeds. Rikishi's gonna be broken! but the police intervened. Stone Cold would have to wait until the 2001 Royal Rumble to get his hands on Rikishi again. And with action at a fever pitch inside the ring, Austin's number was drawn. 
Here comes the rattlesnake! He's here! What? The guys have no business here! I'm solving Stone Cold! With Austin and the game in a heated battle, the rumble raged on. I say just bring it, you say I just whipped your ass. So on April 1st, why don't you just come try and whip while tensions rose among the two-man power trip. No! Triple H hit Austin in it finally! The reason we lost is because Triple H is extremely selfish. A bigger battle had consumed WWE. Daddy, can you really blame us for wanting to own WCW and ECW? The most serious threat we would ever known. Shane and I just couldn't wait for you to die. We'll wipe the Alliance off the face of this earth! But the Alliance would have more backup than Vince could have imagined. What the? Austin just stunned Kurt Angle! Steve Austin joined forces with Shane and Stephanie McMahon. Stone Cold Pro Alliance awaits you. It's about ending what Vince McMahon has tried to accomplish. This conflict would culminate at Survivor Series.
The Alliance is dead. We need a champion with class. We need Kurt Angle as champion, as the sole owner. Allow me to... <gasps> what? There's a nature boy. What's he doing here? Do you know that when Shane and Stephanie sold their stock to that consortium... Wait a minute. Don't tell me. The consortium was me, and now you and I were partners. Great world champions here. What if Stone Cold defends the title against Kurt Angle? The Rock defends the world championship against Y2J. And then on the same night, the winners of both matches face each other for the undisputed world championship. Four men, three matches, two titles, one undisputed champion, and vengeance. Jericho and Austin were just one match away from making history. But before the match could even begin. Hey, look at this! Kurt Angle! Oh, Angle, the, Angle, the chair shot. Look at this! Look at this! And the rock! The rock of Jericho! My God! All oh, this the match hasn't even started! After Booker T cost Stone Cold the undisputed championship at Vengeance, the Rattlesnake sought retribution, leading to some of the most unique battles in WWE history. How about Booker T? Oh, like a dog! Rattlesnake alert! Rattlesnake alert! Yeah. Oh, Austin beating the hell out of Booker T! Rattlesnake has lost his mind, Michael! Price check on a jackass! <laughs> After nearly five years on top of the company, Stone Cold Steve Austin walked out of WWE in June of 2002. Stone Cold kept a low profile, not making any appearances on WWE programming for nearly a year. But the demand to see the rattlesnake back in a WWE ring led to his ultimate return in early 2003. Oh, I got a Stone Cold! The Hellraiser is back! Although the night was ceremonious, one familiar foe had other plans. Austin, do you remember the last two times you went one on one with the great one? And if I remember correctly, I whipped your ass not once, but twice. The one thing that The Rock has not done is whoop that ball candy ass at WrestleMania. If you want to go for three times, is that what you're saying? Oh, this is showtime here. Austin trying to stun the rock and the rock. I'm tailing it out of the ring. You're scared, ain't you? I see it, and I can damn sure feel it. The rock at WrestleMania is gonna whoop that candy ass. It'll be the rock. It'll be Austin one-on-one -on -one at WrestleMania, my God. It was a hell of a moment. Two guys who had been through so much together, and this is time for us to separate and, and uh, go down our separate roads. And it was a real emotional, real emotional moment and a real special moment. Stone Cold Steve Austin's walk up the ramp would be his last as an in-ring competitor. There's only one Texas rattlesnake, and there'll never be another like it. Although his time as a WWE superstar had come to an end, Austin would continue to fulfill his number one passion, entertaining the WWE universe. Trust in me and I will never let you down. I gotta say- What? I wanna tell you- What? I wanna just say- What? You better stop that- What? In 2009, Stone Cold's legendary status was cemented as he was inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. No question, he is 
if nothing else, the greatest WWE superstar of all time. Stone Cold Steve Austin! I want to tell each and every person here and each and every person that ever watched Stone Cold Steve Austin, it has been my pleasure and a privilege to make my living in a squared circle, 20 feet by 20 feet. I love you from the bottom of my heart. I had one hellacious ride. I had to ride off in the sunset a little bit sooner than I would have liked, but I'm the happiest son of a bitch on earth right now. Whether he's racing hell in the world of film and television, opening up cans of audio whoop-ass on his podcast, or stomping an occasional mud hole, Stone Cold Steve Austin continues to command the respect and admiration he deserves. The toughest son of a He's the Texas Rattlesnake, one of the biggest and most influential superstars of all time. Give me a hell yeah! What? And that's the bottom line, cause Stone Cold Sensor! So.